Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Joanna can draw 6 km per hour in still water. When the stream is running at 1.2 km per hour, it takes her 1 hour to row to a place and back. How far is the place? So what is the given question? The speed of Joanna in still water is given. It is 6 km per hour and also the speed of the stream is also given. So she is rowing to a place and she is coming back. That means she will be rowing upstream and downstream. And the total time taken is 1 hour. The total time taken for her to row to a place and return. The total time is given. It is equal to 1 hour. We have to find out the distance to the place. So for these kind of questions, there is a direct formula. So by using this direct formula, you can easily solve this question. So the direct formula will be given by the distance d is equal to z into x square minus y square divided by 2x. What is x? x will be equal to the speed of Jovanna in still water or speed of boat or anything. So speed in still water will be x and y will be speed of the stream. That you can easily remember because they are the usual representations for speed in still water and speed of stream. So that is why I told you take x as speed in still water and y as speed of stream. So in all the formulas it will be easy to remember. So that is x square minus y square divided by 2x and z is the time taken. z is the time taken. Okay let's give it as t. So it will be easy to remember. So t into x square minus y square divided by 2x where t represents the time taken. x is the speed in still water and y is the speed of the stream. Now let's apply this formula here. Here t is equal to 1 hour. So d will be equal to, d is the distance, d will be equal to 1 into 6 square minus 1.2 square divided by 2 into 6. So what is 6 square minus 1.2 square? It is in the format of a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into a minus b. So 6 plus 1.2 into 6 minus 1.2 that is 7.2 into 4.8 divided by so by cancelling out and all you will be getting the answers 2.8 kilometer 12 into 0.4 is 4.8 so 7.2 into 0.4 which gives you 2.88 kilometer so 2.88 kilometer is the distance Joanna is rowing or how far is the place so the place is 2.88 kilometer away now second question Arun can draw at 5 kilometer per hour in still water if the velocity of current is 1 km per hour and it takes him 1 hour to row to a place and back, how far is the place? So Arun's speed in still water is given, that is x is given, x is equal to 5 km per hour and speed of the current is given which is equal to 1 km per hour, so that is y is equal to 1 km per hour, x and y are the standard representations, x is the speed in still water, so here it will be the speed of Arun in still water and y is the speed of the current. So y will be equal to 1 km per hour. For our easiness, we are using standard representations. And what is the time taken for moving to a place and retaining back? The total time is given. He is rowing to a place and he is retaining back and the total time taken is equal to 1 hour. So t is equal to 1 hour. You are asked to find out the distance to the place. So we are having the direct formula. d is equal to t into x square minus y square divided by 2x which gives you 1 into 5 square minus 1 square divided by 2 into 5. So what is 5 square 25? 25 minus 1 is equal to 24. So it will be equal to 24 divided by 10 which gives you 2.4 kilometer. So 2.4 kilometer is the distance. Now question number 3. Sona can draw 7 kilometer per hour in still water. The stream is flowing at 3 km per hour. Sona takes 7 hours to row to a place and back. How far is the place? So same kind of question. I have included here 3 questions. So that you can be thorough with the format of the question. So again in the coming videos, we will be studying a question with a slight variation. So there the formula applied is different. So you have to be thorough with the question. So here the total time taken for rowing to a place and returning back is given. Separate times are not given. How much time she took for rowing upstream 
or how much time she took for rowing downstream is not given. Only the total time taken by Sona to go to a place and returning back will be given. So that is when we will be applying this formula. So here Sona's speed in still water is equal to 7 km per hour. So it is x is equal to 7 km per hour and speed of stream is equal to 3 km per hour. That means y is equal to 3 km per hour and also the total time taken is 7 hours. You are asked to find out the distance. Suppose if you are not using this formula means this question is a lengthy question. You have to do many steps to find out the answer. So I am giving the shortcut formula here. D is equal to T into x square minus y square divided by 2x. So which will be equal to 7 into 7 square minus 3 square divided by 2 into 7. So 7 and 7 will be cancelled out. 7 square minus 3 square can be written as 7 plus 3 into 7 minus 3. So it will be equal to 10 into 4 40. So 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20 kilometer. Thank you for watching.